Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So um, this is what the Blue Spike Gits Army looked like when I took it to play the game uh, yesterday. Um, unfortunately I didn't finish the, the basing on some of the figures and some of the actual figures themselves needed some paint that I didn't uh, get around to. So I spent three hours at Games Workshop, we managed to play just three rounds of the game. My opponent was a member of staff uh, and as soon as I saw his army I just knew that I wasn't going to have a good time. He had a vampire count on a zombie dragon, he had um, <clears throat> two units of, um, they're called uh, blood knights I think, and a unit of skeletons which he didn't even use in the game. So he won the first turn, so he um, basically flew his uh, zombie dragon um, 14 inches forward. Then he was 9 inches away from my giant, so he rolled 2 dice to charge in and he got 10 inch, uh, sorry, 10 on the 2 dice. Charged into the um, giant, needed um, to take two, uh, sorry, 10 wounds off the giant and he proceeded to do so. So my giant died in the first turn of the game, first combat. Uh, hadn't swung a club or even um, stuck two fingers up to anybody and <clears throat> his zombie dragon uh, with the count had 14 wounds I uh, had nothing really left in the army to take it on the trolls could have um, perhaps done something even the squigs um, it's quite an interesting way that uh, wounds are um, are um, received or rolled for. Even the squigs, perhaps um, if they were really lucky, we would have um, taken him down. But it wasn't to be. I couldn't roll anything above a three. Um, so I wasn't getting the hits and then I wasn't getting the wounds. Um, so it was a bit disappointing. Unfortunately, um, he was he knew a bit more about Age of Sigma, but I think one of the reasons he was playing was to get a few more games under his belt and consequently things were forgotten. Um, and I said to him after the game that there's so much to remember um, when you give magic items to people that, that you know they get plus one to their saves um, and, and things like that. So it was, um, it was a disappointment, I've got to be honest. I'd spent the last two weeks every evening that I could painting these things only for them to get absolutely slaughtered. Um, the only thing I killed of his was two knights from one of the units. So we lost two models and I lost my entire army. The man in the match for me um, was in fact the Loom Shrine which uh, isn't in this photograph. That's the one I'm hoping to paint up for um, the Halloween GB. The Loon Shrine meant that my guys uh, that were in 12 inches didn't have to test when they lost um, so many um, blokes in their unit. You usually have to test morale, but because the Loon Shrine was there, it meant that I didn't have to test. Um, so I think it was in the third turn or second turn of combat. Um, his zombie dragon that was in base contact with the Loon Shrine actually demolished it. Um, it did, um, he had to, I think, do D3 mortal wounds to it and he rolled a, a D6 and he halved it and he got three. So he destroyed the Loon Shrine, which meant that my guys then did have to test uh, for morale. So I was losing, losing blokes. And at that point in the game, um, well, as soon as the joint was taken, it was kind of like, okay, I'm it looks like this is going to be a huge loss for me. Um, but at that point in the game, it was just like taking stuff off and and uh, not really <laughs> too enthusiastic about the rest of it. Um, there were lessons learned, for instance. Um, I forgot that the squigs have two wounds each. I thought they only had one. So when he was causing food, four wounds to the unit, I was taking four squigs off and I should have been only taking two. Um, so it wasn't much of a teaching kind of um, game. It was more of a let's play and, and let's let's just, you know, forget stuff and not do stuff and 
and get slaughtered. So what's going to happen now? Well, um, I found out that some of the other armies that are involved, I think there's about 14 of us playing, some of the armies that are involved are just, they're just nasty. <laughs> it's obvious that people are playing to win the league, which to a certain extent is understandable, whereas I just wanted to go along and have some fun. Um, I know that one army's got like three dinosaurs with riders on them. That's all, that's his entire army. Um, so, you know, how the hell I'm going to compete against that, I don't know. I saw another uh, army where, again, there was a rider with a dinosaur and then there was a, 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 like a magic caster that was just like the best magic caster in the game. So my magic, I didn't even get a spell off um, at all. So... So yeah, it's uh, it's not what I expected. Um, so anyway, my battery's running out. I better close this down. Thanks ever so much for the comments and support, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, look after yourselves. I hope your week goes well, and I'll catch up with you soon.